One of the lecturers during orientation for the program said that a radiologists are worth only what they know. Other fields, of course, have to know things, but the element of hard work plays a larger part in what they do. They pre-round early in the morning, talk to patients, write notes. Diagnostic radiologists don't do much of that. They try to help diagnose diseases. Radiologists who don't know much will not be as helpful. The lecturer also said that our, our early morning pre-rounding is studying. Since it's impossible to study when there's a small toddler around the house, I figured early on is the only time I can really focus before I get to work and before I pick up the little man from daycare. Since I have to get up early, I try to sleep early too, usually by 9 p.m. Right now, my wife, who's an ophthalmology resident, is doing a rotation in Minneapolis, which is one and a half hours away, for three months. And for that three months, I am responsible for taking care of Ian during the week, including dropping off and picking him up from daycare, feeding him, playtime, among other things. So it's important that I be efficient. Good morning. Alexa, turn on nursery. Hmm. We have to go. Ian's all dressed up, ready to go to school. Good morning. There you go. Still a little drowsy. I think we're all ready to go. All right. This is for later in the day. Let's take one. So we're on our way to Ian's daycare. I'll drop him off and then head off to work. All right, time to get to work. And it takes about eight minutes to go from daycare to work. If I really wanted to, I could roll out of bed 15 minutes before my shift starts, and then I'll still not be late. For COVID-19, the hospital gave us these masks so we can wear it instead of using those disposable ones. They actually had a contest for people to come up with designs. All residents get free parking. And it's a perk that cannot be underappreciated. All right. Now we're in the resident lounge area and it's nice that they give us lockers so we can put our stuff away during the day. One of Mayo's well-known tradition is that all the doctors have to wear suits, including the residents and even if you're a radiology resident like me. My goal is to be as comfortable throughout the day. In most of our rotations, we're allowed to wear scrubs, but right now I'm on one that I have to wear suits. But this is not an actual suit. I bought this from Uniqlo, one of those outer coat jacket thingies. And same with these pants. These are from Uniqlo. These are not real dress shoes. These are called casual dress sneakers that Cole Haan sells. And it looks professional enough that I can wear it throughout the day. And it's as comfortable as wearing sneakers. Sometimes I'll wear a real suit to look really suave, but not today. Right now, I'm in a library that's just for radiology education, and it has a bunch of textbooks, as you can see behind me. But they provide us with access to a bunch of ebooks, and they give us a Apple iPad in the beginning of the program that you have to return, but you can also use that to read on your free time too, or at home just to study. As I mentioned before, when I go home and there's my kid, a young toddler in the house with me, zero work gets done. It's impossible to study when this kid is constantly wanting my attention and I want to play with him too. So I try to be as productive as possible while I'm at work. So even after I'm done with my daily duties, I'll come to the library to get some studying done before I go home so that I don't feel bad not studying and I compartmentalize my time so that I can give my full attention to my family. Apparently this is a common problem that a lot of parents face and a lot of residents do become new parents during residency and it's something that everyone has to figure out. I'm now on my way to my rotation. We'll see how today goes.
The day-to-day -day for most radiology programs are similar. You'll do your own reading of a study that a doctor in a hospital ordered, and you'll give your best shot at trying to see what's going on, and then you'll assign an attending, an actual radiologist, who will then go over your work. And then you can discuss the things that you missed or the things that you did well so that you continually learn throughout the day. So although I'm reading textbooks and looking up things before work, during work, and after work, I'm still learning on the day-to-day. -day. And that's probably the most valuable education comes from. This is my workstation, and you guys already know that radiologists like working in the dark. A lot of monitors. I'm just working on some research paper during a break. So one of the best parts of radiology residency is that your lunch hours are almost always guaranteed. How this program does it is we grab our lunch and then we watch a lecture during the noon hour. And this lecture happens every day. So we're excused from all responsibilities and this time is protected. So it's nice to get to meet other residents. But during COVID, they do social distancing so we get, don't get to see each other that much. But uh, it's a nice break and a way to add additional learning throughout the day. This is where we have our new lectures. Right now, the only people who can attend in person are residents who are on certain rotations, so that they limit the number of people in this room to only 10. The rest of the residents are responsible for watching the lectures by online, and they can do it at their own reading stations or they can do it at a, another conference room. That's up to them. So this is where some people watch the noon lecture. Here are some masks I picked up for my wife because she's in Minneapolis. Here's my lunch, and here's Grace. Hi! She's a co-resident, also the first year radiology resident. So where are you from? Uh, Texas. Texas and living in Minneapolis, or no, Rochester, oh, sorry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is Rochester. How has it been going so far with dealing with the weather and the coldness? I've been surviving the snow. I see that you have a huge jacket on indoors. Always, 24-7. <laughs> nice. Reem! Hey, guys. What's up with the, uh, the face mask? Oh. Or um, the eye shield, I, I guess. I have fluoro, so we've got people coughing and stuff like that in front of us, so staying protected. Also very excited to be YouTube famous. Right. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to my 125 subscribers. <laughs> Listen, that's more people than I know, so I'm already ahead of the game. <laughs> so right now I'm on ultrasound, which comes with doing ultrasound guided procedures. One very cool thing that happened today was I did an entire thyroid fine needle aspiration by myself. So these are patients who potentially have thyroid cancer or on ultrasound or other imaging, they thought they saw a nodule in the thyroid that looked malignant or could be malignant. So we take a piece of tissue from, or more like we take some cells from the thyroid and see, send it to pathology to see what it looks like under the microscope. Something else I've noticed is that for some reason, a lot of the doctors I work with drink a lot of diet soda. Probably because it's really accessible, it's cold, you don't have to wait until the coffee cools down, it's a quick source of caffeine. But some of them drink like unhealthy amount of diet soda, and I do too, so I guess I fit right in. In general, I'm very happy with how my residency has been going. Anything is really stressful the first time, but once you get the hang of it, things turn out to be okay. The things that I'm learning are super interesting, and the people I'm working with are incredibly nice. And I feel like my work is meaningful, not just in the clinical context, but also the research that I started to do here. And that's been a huge perk of this residency program. There are a few things that makes this radiology residency program stand out in terms of how it treats its first year radiology residents, the newbies who don't know anything. First, there is one month of orientation. This is basically unheard of. Everyone else that I talk to has maybe one week or maybe two weeks of orientation, but one month of lectures about the basics of radiology and how to work using the various electronic environments that radiologists have to deal with. And we get to spend some time with our co-residents too, getting to know them because we'll be spending a lot of time with each other in the next four years. But afterwards, we have six months where we basically rotate through a lot of different subspecialty of radiology. We do two weeks 
of various things for six months. So we get to basically check out 12 different things and kind of get a baseline so that we get comfortable with the different fields in the radiology department. I probably get more exposure than the average first year radiology residents across the country. So our residency program has been doing a wellness challenge where each day you get to do one of these activities and if you form a full row, so you get a bingo, then you get a prize. So let's see, I could probably do a movie night maybe. You know, Mandalorian 2 came out and you know, I really love the series. I'm done for the day and on my way home, I just have a lecture to watch at 4 p.m. This used to be in person, but because of COVID, this is now done over Zoom. Since it gets so cold during the winter, it's nice that all the buildings are connected by underground tunnels or sky bridges. And you can actually get from the parking garage to the hospital just by taking these underground tunnels. It's super long, so I'll take you on this little trip. I'm not sure who would buy food here at this point, you know, right after coming to work or right before leaving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 